Hey, welcome to the Board Game Network. This is James here. I'm going to be explaining how to play this game called Dastardly Dirigibles, where you're building dirigibles. And it's a two to five player game, plays in about an hour. For eight years and up, you are competing to be the successor for Professor Phineas Edmund Hornswoggle by building the best airship. So you've got a deck of cards here. And what's in there is there are nine suits, and your suits are in the upper left-hand corner. You'll notice there's like the nose or the uh, screw and the goggles and the ha top hat. And then there's wild. Two of the nine suits are wild, and then there's seven parts to a dirigible, and they've got them labeled down here at the bottom. So up here it says nose cone, so that would be the nose cone. You got gondola rear, you put that in the rear. You do have two lift engines, so when you play a lift engine, you get to choose which one you want to put it into. So what you do is everybody draws a card, and whoever gets the card closest to the front of the dirigible is the first player. And so the nose cone would go first in this case. So I've got this laid out for four players. And uh, what you do to start the game is you draw five cards in your hand, and then you <coughs> can play three actions. And you can do these actions uh, any number of times in any order. And the actions are to play a card. Let's just put five cards in my hand. Two, three, four, five. So I've got five cards in my hand. Um, and that's not your action, that's what happens before you have your three actions. And then I can play a card, and a play a card is just taking a card out of your hand, putting it down in the correct spot on your dirigible. Here's gondola front, gondola front. So that's one action that I can choose to do. Uh, and when I do this, I say gondola front, and any other player that has a gondola front in their hand has to play it. So everybody has dealt five cards at the beginning of the game, so they, on first turn, will have cards in their hand. So they uh, play also a gondola front if you played one. Okay, then you can discard a card if you say, well, I don't really want this one. Then you can discard it. And the point of discarding a card is, um, it, remember, at the beginning of your turn, you draw back to five. So if you've got a duplicate, that gives you more chances of getting more cards in the next round. But it also gives you a chance of dumping a card out of your hand. Because on your scoring, you score based on the most of a single suit that you have. So like I put this one out, it's a top hat. If I got two or three top hats out here, and I had a goggles for a gondola front sit in my hand and somebody played a gondola front, I would have to put the goggles on top of the top hat as long as it was the right part. So I may want to dump a card like that out of my hand so that somebody can't force me to play it on top of a card that I want to keep. Uh, another thing I can do is I can swap a card in my hand with a card out in the Emporium. This is called the Emporium out here. So if I want this one, I want to get rid of that one. That's an action. You can replace the Emporium. Say, well, I don't want these. Those go to the discard. You draw four new. Or you can pass. And then it becomes the next player's turn after you've done your three actions. Now there are special cards in your hand. Here's a transmutation. It says when an opponent plays an airship part, play this card and any airship part of your choice from your hand to the airship. So if somebody played a tail, and I either don't have a tail, or I don't want to play the tail in my hand, I want to play something else. When they play that card, I can play the transmutation and play a different card. Let's say the lift engine. So the specials let you do different things, but they tell you on the card what they let you do. The, the round uh, ends when 
one person's gondola is complete, and the game plays, you play three rounds. Uh, so you score three times. Uh, so the round ends when one dirigible is complete, that, that ends the round, and then you score. And the way you score is you take two points for every suit that is the most, the, the biggest suit you have on your gondola. So if you have three top hats and you've got two goggles and you've got one wrench, then you would score just the top hats. So you want to make all of them the same suit if you can, two points each, and then one point for each wild card you have on your a dirigible. So one, so wilds count, but they don't count as much as a one that's got a suit. Um, on any incomplete ships, they also score that same way. If you have an incomplete ship that has no pairs whatsoever and no wilds, so that every one, every card out there is completely different, then they get one point for every card. Uh, a model is a ship that has all different suits and no wild cards in it. And that actually scores 20 points to have. And that would be, since there's nine different suits and two of them are wilds, that would be one card from every single suit out here. So that's pretty tough to come up with out of out of there because there's only one of with 63 cards in the deck there's only one of each suit for each part but you can you know you can mix stuff around once you see that you're not getting the right tail piece but you do did get a different lift engine maybe you can swap one for the other or something um, you do get bonuses whoever finished their dirigible first gets a two-point bonus if anybody else completed their dirigible after the first player, he gets a one-point bonus. And you, remember, you don't even have to finish the dirigible on your turn. Somebody else could play a tail down, and that's the last piece you need to finish yours. And so you play one down also, and that could finish yours. You get a one-point bonus if you've got the Gilded Dynamotor in your hand. That tells you that on the card. And when you end the round, you shuffle all of the cards. Again, you draw five, you, you put those, the Emporium, you reshuffle everything, you draw five new cards. And whoever has the lowest score is the first player. And the lowest score person, once he's the first player, he actually gets four actions on his first turn Everybody else after that gets three. So that's the first turn only for the second and the third round where you get the four actions. So you just total your score for three rounds in a row, and whoever has this high score is the winner. And so that's how you play this game called Dastardly Dirigibles. You'll notice a bunch of different icons up here for the different suits. So it's a very, very simple game. Um, this is called Dashardly Dirigibles. It's put out by Fireside Games. Make sure you tune into all of our videos here at the Board Game Network and be sure to subscribe.